With data stored in 3D experience, you can easily iterate on your designs and keep track of the revisions. Here are the basics step by step. So we have our part model open and it's already been saved into 3D experiences we covered in the how to store video. We've decided a change is needed. So these two holes are going to be repositioned to the top side of the arm. A quick look in my session and we can confirm that this file it matches the one that's stored in 3D Experience. It's unlocked and the current revision is A. It's also important to know that A is the very latest revision that exists on the platform. So we know we're working with the right one. Now we know of course too that there's also a 2D drawing of this part that will need to be updated as well. Uh, but we don't have to even go search for it. Right click and go to open drawing. SolidWorks knows that the file has an associated drawing in 3D Experience and so it goes out and grabs it and downloads it. The next step is important because it's how we recommend handling your files in a simple store and revise type of workflow. I'll control select both the drawing and the model and then right click to select new revision. Now let's go ahead and add the comment uh, to document the changes that we're about to make. Think of it this way, we're going to leave Rev A in 3D experience as is. A new revision makes a copy of the file at that point so we can modify it freely. Note also that when we create a new revision this way, it automatically locks the file for me. Now we'll go to the part model and make the required changes. As we said in the beginning, we're going to be moving the holes to the top of the arm. Now it's over to the drawing and the dimensions just need to be moved to another view, so it's a pretty easy update. Now we didn't have to use save with options. Save to 3D Experience would have uploaded our changes for Rev B, but this gives us a chance to specify a bookmark. Remember a bookmark is a pointer to that specific file at that Rev. Since we want to find the new revision in the same bookmark structure, let's select that here. The checkbox to unlock files after saving is just a really good time saver and it protects me from accidentally overriding Rev B later. So what happens in an assembly when you've got a component that's been updated and revised? Here's the assembly that uses that arm and it's easy to see in the feature manager that this is not the latest revision. Let's right click on the component, go to life cycle and collaboration and then select replace by revision we can choose specifically which revision to use now. There are of course some mates that need to be repaired since we moved the holes. Once that's done I'm going to use save with options again. There's a couple things to point out here in this workflow. Notice we didn't bump the revision of the assembly as we started updating it. In order to save it now we'd have to lock it but that would overwrite Rev A and that's not what we want. We need it to be a new revision as well. What we'll do then is check the box for new revision on the assembly in the save dialog. That will create Rev B as we save. We'll add the revision comment and unlock the file when it's complete again. Now everything's up to date. Back in our web browser, let's go to the content tab in our dashboard. A refresh is good to do if you already had that opened to 3D experience. We'll search for the file and there we'll see our B revisions for the part and drawing. This should be similar to the column layout that everyone sees by default, but I like to move at least two columns over. Simply scroll and then click and drag on the column name to, uh, to bring them over. Is last revision and locked by are just a couple of personal favorites of mine that I like to see closer over to the left side of the view. Dragging the drawing over into the 3D Play app shows me a preview version of that file. And remember, this could be anyone with a simple web browser. Here's one more quick tip to show what you can do with files that are stored in 3D Experience. With the drawing loaded into 3D Play, go to the compass and then click on the 3D Markup app. The 3D Play app switches over to 3D Markup and you have some additional functionality. Now this app is included with your base roles for cloud services. Down on the action bar, click on 2D Compare. We select the previous revision of the drawing and the changes can be visualized with the slider. 
And that's the basics of revision control in 3D Experience. Now you can easily iterate on your designs with confidence and clarity.